Please, go ahead. Um, no, uh, I think right behind you, I promise. I can't, I cannot tell a lie. So and we'll get you next, okay? We'll get you next. Talking to her or me? No, no, you. Me, okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. President. Um, my question, I have two questions. The first one is on testing. You talked about the idea that first it was ventilators, now it's testing. You seem to maybe possibly be implying that talking about testing is a personal attack on you. Can you explain why you think testing, talking about testing is a personal attack, given that the access yeah. to testing has been an issue for a long time. There's bipartisan outcry still today that there's not enough testing. Why do you think it's a personal attack on you? Well, it's not uh, bipartisan. It's mostly partisan. But more importantly than mostly partisan, uh, it's incorrect. You have, you have the experts. L look at these maps. I mean, you have the maps with so many different locations. In the case of, uh, as an example, uh, Governor Hogan, he didn't really know. He really it, — it was very obvious to any of those listening on the call today even though you weren't supposed to be on it. I'm sure that some of you were, or representatives were. Uh, he really didn't know about the federal laboratories. Would you say that's correct, Mike? He didn't know. He didn't know. And Mike doesn't like to get into this stuff. He's less controversial than I am. But he didn't know about it. And if he did know about it, he would have been happy. No, we've done a really good job in testing. Now, with that being said, we have tests coming out, perhaps over the next two weeks, that will blow the whole industry away. Now, a lot of people love the Abbott test. So do I. You know, the Abbott test is great because it's boom, it's — they touch, they put it in, and five minutes you have — the problem is that doesn't do massive numbers like the big machine. But the big machine takes a day, takes a day and a half, you know, with delivery and everything else. But we have tremendous testing, tremendous testing capability. Remember this, we've tested more than any country in the world by far. In fact, I think I read where if you add up every other country in the world, we've tested more. But remember this, we're dealing in politics. We're dealing with a thing called November 3rd of this year. Do you know what November 3rd represents, right? You know better than anybody in the room. November 3rd of this year, it's called the presidential election. No matter what I do, no matter where we go, no matter how well we do, no matter what, if I came up with a tablet, you take it and, and this plague is gone. They'll say, Trump did a terrible job, terrible, terrible, because that's their soundbite. That's the political soundbite. They know the great job we've done. But with all of that being said, and, and also, there, there is a thing that somebody could talk to if they want, but I, I don't want to bore you with it. Not everybody believes we should do so much testing. You don't need so much. We're talking about maximum, maximum. The reason that the Democrats and some others, maybe because they don't know. They want maximum because they want to be able to criticize. Because it's almost impossible to get to the maximum number, and yet we've been able to do it already. But with that, and you'll be seeing this over the next, I think, over the next couple of weeks or sooner, we have a test. If it comes out, it, it'll revolutionize the whole world of testing. It'll be, it'll be something really special. So I don't view it as personal at all. What I do say is, it's something that's not fair to thousands of people that have done such a good job. The second question I have about your, your language and how you approach the coronavirus at the beginning. I interviewed someone who said that his family got sick. They went to a funeral um, in mid-March. And they said mainly because the president wasn't taking it seriously. He said, if, I, if the president had had a mask on, if he was saying we should stay home, then I would have stayed home. Well, Instead, I, know, I have I, family I just, members. I'm just, I wanna, the, 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 he said his family members were sick and because they were, but they were listening to you. And do you feel like, or are you concerned that downplaying the virus maybe yeah. got some people sick? And a lot of people love Trump, right? A lot of people love me. You see him all the time, right? I guess I'm here for a reason, you know? To the best of my knowledge, I won. And I think we're going to win again. I think we're going to win in a landslide. But just so you understand, you're talking about March, right? Yeah. And yet, excuse me, excuse me. I know. I understand. And yet in January, a certain date, you know the date better than I do, we put on a ban of China where China can't come in. And before March, we put on a ban on Europe where Europe can't come in. So how could you say I wasn't taking it seriously? Do you know, I put on a ban on China before anybody in this country died. I put on a ban. And so you tell me, Nancy Pelosi was having — she wanted to have a street party in Chinatown in San Francisco at the end of February. That's a month later. And then they tell me, it's only a political talking point, but you feed into it, because you're too good a reporter to, to let that happen. Really, you are a good reporter. 
you're too good a reporter to let that happen. R remember this. So at the end of January, I put on a ban. People that were in that room will tell you that I think there were 21 people. I was the only one in the whole room that wanted to do it. Fortunately, I was the one that counted for that purpose. We put on a ban because I was reading bad things about China. World Health Organization should have told us. But I was reading it with or without them. They should have known. All they had to do was read it. They didn't have to even be there. But they tried to cover up for China. World Health covered up for China. But no, no, wait. But you can't say this. Look, I put on a ban. In other words, I stopped China from coming to the United States. I stopped Europe from coming into the United States long before the March date that you're talking about. So people should say I acted very early. That was a very hard thing to do. Doing that was a very hard thing. I didn't want to do that, but I, I did it because I thought, and Dr. Fauci said that by doing it, President Trump saved tens of thousands of lives. So I did take it very seriously. You held rallies in February and in March, and there are some Americans Oh, I don't know. I don't know about rallies. I really don't know about rallies. I know one thing. I haven't left the White House in months, except for a brief moment to give a wonderful ship the comfort. You held a rally in March. I, I don't know. Did I hold a rally? I'm sorry. I hold a rally. Did I hold a rally? Let me tell you, in January, when I did this, you had virtually no cases and no deaths, and yet I put it on. So how could I not? Why was Nancy Pelosi, right? Nancy Pelosi is holding a street fair. She wants a street fair in San Francisco in Chinatown to prove, you know what the purpose of it was, to prove that there's no problem. Many other politicians did the same thing and wanted to prove. Yeah. While I was — no, of course not. No, no, no. I, I've been — people are amazed at how early I acted, and I did act early. With that being said, it's very hard to say, let's close down the greatest economy in the history of the world. I had it closed down. I and everybody else that works with me and, and 300 and — close to 350 million people built the greatest economy in the history of the world, best employment numbers, best stock market numbers, best numbers in virtually every category, even good manufacturing numbers. The previous administration said manufacturing was dead for our country. Even great manufacturing numbers. And you know what? I did that, and somebody walked into my office and said, sir, you're going to have to close down the economy. You're going to have to close the country. But you know what I say to you? We're going to rebuild it. And we're going to rebuild it better, and it's going to go faster than people think. I built it once. I'll build it a second time.